Hi, you guys. So I have a battle of the boxes for you. These are the $10 boxes. So we have Ipsy, we have the Sephora Play Box, and we have Birch Box. And I'm going to do Birch Box first because I already opened it and I didn't like it. I actually hated it. So I'm going to fly right through the box. It's that bad. So um, it just says, I, I don't even want to read it. <laughs> Um, I'll cost out the box at the very, very end, which to be honest with you, um, almost everything in here is pretty much like a free deluxe sample that you could get anywhere when you're ordering items, especially if you order from different companies or whatever. These are like um, free gifts that you would get. Um, a couple things are, well, let's just go. Let's just do it. All right, first thing is from a clarifying shampoo from Oblivion um, R and Co. Um, again, it's a clarifying shampoo, and this is actually a nice size. You can get one, maybe two, maybe two uses out of this, so that's not bad. And then they have an extra. The conditioner is an extra. It shouldn't be counted as a sample in the box, so um, that's good as well. All right, um, and we have from Mana Kadar Beauty. I really like their products. I ordered some lip products from them a while back and I really like them. They're long lasting. The packaging has always been really cute, but this one is completely shattered inside the packaging. Um, it's in the shade Fantasy. Okay, so you can use it for everything. It's for eyes and cheeks. So hmm, I'm going to definitely message them and tell them that mine is shattered because for this sad box, I definitely want to get um, something out of the box that is worth something. And I'm not into opening shattered items to make a mess in my house. I'm just not. So I'm not going to open this at all. Um, and then we have from Beauty Protector. Um, this is an hair oil. This is actually, even though it's really small, it's definitely going to last quite a long time. So, um, And then from Kula, this is Daydream, uh, Daydream Mineral Primer. Um, it's just a tad little tiny bit. I mean, I'm holding it up to the light and literally it's just in this little corner right here. The rest of it down here is completely empty. It's just like a little tiny bit right there in the corner. I don't know why companies do that, but I know I've messaged companies before in reference to it and they're like, oh, because it's for expansion. And then lastly in here is from Marcel Hydra C 24 hour energizing hydrating gel. So this is a nice thing to have as well. They're all nice things. I'm just super disappointed in the sizes of everything. Um, so, you know, we have one full size product, which was completely shattered. And then everything else is like a deluxe size sample. So that is Birchbox. I really didn't want to spend much time on Birchbox at all because I knew about it. And I feel like I've gotten this box already. I actually keep all of my Birch boxes and I recycle them and use them for different things. But I feel like I actually got this one. So, all right, let's move on to Ipsy. We'll stay, save Sephora for last. That's a cute bag. Look at that. And like the shape of the bag. It's like a, a nice princess or something. All right, this one says, live that fantasy. That's super cute. All right, inside the bag. Oh, we have a Dead Sea wash off mask. I'll definitely use this. I wonder how long you have to, 15 minutes. And body therapy, deep cleansing, mud based formula for all skin types. Very cool. I like these little packages like this because you can like get every little bit out of there by squeezing it and rolling it up. I like that. I like. It. I wish more companies would put more stuff in little bags like this instead of like plastic containers and stuff because you can get more stuff out of them. All right. Oh, another thing from Ofra. Um, this one is highlighter eyeshadow. It says, um, you glow girl made for you by dupe that. So we got an Ofra palette in last month's boxy charm. And so I'm going to add this highlighter into that, um, Z palette that they sent over. Very cool. Uh, let's see, we have something in a little baggie here. Let me cut this open. This is from, ooh, Japanesque. And this is pretty Velvet Touch Blush Shade 02. That is a pretty color. I like that. So very nice. 
it's kind of it's very very light I don't know how that would show up on the cheeks at all it's kind of it's very glowy velvet touch blush it's a very glowy kind of a blush pretty and two more things in here we have the organic pharmacy rose facial cleansing gel hmm Oh, it's sealed. I'm not going to open it just yet. I have a couple cleansers that are open, so I don't want to open this one just yet. Um, so, all right. I have my, um, what do you call it? That thing that I got a few weeks ago, the Clarisonic. I love that thing, by the way. I'm going to put this up with that. And then we have a Smoky Eye Pen in black from Radial. Wow, that's a super black, super, super black pencil. Okay, moving on. That was a really nice bag from Ipsy. A lot of nice items in there. That pencil, it's not very long lasting, but it's super, super black, but you can use it to smudge out and maybe put another shadow on top to kind of set it. So let me wipe this off of my hands. All right, let's open up the play box. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I should bring this. Um, so we have the little card. I need to take these cards off and put it in my purse. Because they say if you buy something, you get 50 points, I think it is, right? 50? How many points? Yeah, you get 50 extra insider points if you go to Sephora. So. And I like their little pamphlet that they have. So inside the box, we have play. We have, sorry about that. And then we have the little bag that it comes with. I don't know. Did last month's bag have a little eyeball and eyelash in there? I don't know. Ooh, we have the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Um, I think I have this one. Um, I have a sample of it, so it's a nice size sample. I actually prefer sample size mascaras over full size, so. Next in here is from Sephora. It's a contour eye pencil, 12 hour wear crayon. And um, this one is in a color that I similarly got in either BoxyCharm or Classy Box. I think it was BoxyCharm. So there we go. Next we have from Lancome. This is the Smoothing and Glow Boosting Liquid Care, I guess for your face, I'm assuming. Okay, so I'm assuming it's for your face. It's a, just a little sample here. Then we have from Algenus. This is the Complete Eye Renewal Balm. This is nice. I've had this one before. It's really good, really nice. And this one, oh, this one smells a little tiny minty in a way, and it looks like it's a super thick cream. I haven't, I don't think this is the same one that I had from before. This one looks a little bit thicker. I think the one I had was for the face and not the eyes. That's what it was. And then from Clean, this is Warm Cotton scented um, fragrance. Oh my gosh, that smells like clean laundry. This is something I would like to s <laughs> spray on my clothes. <laughs> All right, and then from Makeup Forever, this is a shadow. Let's see, what color is this one? Okay, it just says 6P01 on the back, unless I just am missing it. And it's like a little burgundy. Is that like the color going on or something? Cause like everything is like burgundy. I really like burgundy in general, so I'm okay with that. But like all the boxes had something burgundy inside. Very cool. Okay, so not too bad. We have the little tiny sample of the, the perfume, the shadow from Makeup Forever, the Lancome um, face cream, the Algenis eye cream, which is really nice. And then the sh uh, shadow stick from Sephora. So let me know what you guys think about all the boxes. That's it um, for this month's Battle of the bot Box. Botch. No, I was going to say it was almost like a botch. Um, between the Birch Box, the Ipsy, and the Sephora Play Box. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again in another video. Bye.